can a screwdriver and an allen key improve the handling of your bike well on a triumph truxton r let's hope so i'm going to return this bike to its comfort settings on the suspension i've never touched them since i got the bike to be honest it's been fine but a little bit of a harsh ride so i'm going to set it to comfort and see if it makes a difference so to start that off what we've got to do is we've got to turn this fully anti-clockwise and these fully clockwise on the front and we'll start with the front the allen key to adjust this should be behind here and there he is often suspension is done in clicks and turns so this does click but the guidance is number of turns so for comfort we want seven turns clockwise from this position next we're going to turn these fully clockwise always use a well fitting screwdriver because you don't want to damage these heads Fully clockwise. Right, all of them are fully clockwise. We've got comp and 10. Comp and 10. Comp is compression, 10 is rebound. Don't know why they're called that, but that is rebound. So we're going to do compression first. We'll see what the manual says. Right. Don't know if you read that, but for comfort, compression is eight and a half turns anti-clockwise. Now with a screwdriver, it's pretty hard to work out whether you've done a full turn or not. So I'll just return the trusty uh, Allen key. And we'll do our eight and a half turns so you can see where that is. We'll do... One, two, you get the idea. I'll finish that off because it's hard doing it with one hand. So the rebound, which is this 10 one, that is six and a half turns. So same procedure as before. Right, so what I've discovered that will make that job a lot easier if you just want them in the comfort setting is that all of them are actually fully anti-clockwise now. So, okay. We'll take that one and we turn them fully clockwise looking from the top here and the bottom here. It's fully clockwise that way. Oh, that's fully clockwise. Same on the other side. Right, we're going to adjust the compression, which is this one. And we want 20 clicks anti clockwise for the comfort setting. Same on this side. Compression set rebound is 44. <laughs> From here. That's going to be hard to count. I haven't got enough fingers. What you'll notice is when you start, there's not so much a click as you feel almost like a groove as you turn it. Uh, as you get further on, it becomes a solid click. I'm going to leave the preload alone. I don't know whether that is in its uh, lowest or highest position. I'll do a bit of research on that one. But this should be set for comfort now. 
So what we'll have to do is go out and give it a test ride, won't we? See if I uh, notice any difference. Well, this is the first ride since we've uh, changed the suspension. So far, it's not as bumpy. Sometimes your fillings would get rattled out by uh, how stiff the suspension was. Yeah, much smoother rise. Lots of bumps on this, and uh, although I'm feeling them, it's not as harsh as it was, so, so far so good. A few twisties coming up, we'll see what it's like in the corners. Right, I think that's enough test riding. I think this is perfectly okay, handling wise very happy with that. Right, back to the garage. So did a screwdriver and an allen key make a difference to the Thruxton? Yes it did. Um, a lot easier over the bumps, uh, it didn't affect the handling very much. I did feel in a couple of the faster corners that the back end was maybe moving or bouncing a little bit whereas before it would have stayed planted but um, it didn't detract from uh, the stability in the corner so very happy with that and I'm going to leave that set on comfort. Hope you found it useful. If you did, why not hit the subscribe button. If you're already subscribed, thank you very much for uh, joining me on another video and hopefully we'll see you again. Keep safe and keep riding.